So I wanted to share with you guys a couple of thoughts from Mark chapter 3. First of all, in the fifth verse, it says, Jesus was grieved at their hardness of heart. This is moving. That hardness of heart affects Jesus' feelings. Interesting that the hardness of heart is connected with their failure to recognize Him and believe Him. This is what hardness of heart is. Not recognizing His presence and not putting your faith in Him. So His heart is affected by the condition of our hearts. If He grieves at hardness of heart, then He must rejoice at tenderness of heart. I pray that the Lord would do this in us. Make our hearts sensitive, tender, to recognize His presence and put our trust in Him. Verses 13 through 14, it says that Jesus summoned those that He wanted, summoned those that He wanted. Interesting. His drawing is indicative of His desire. That drawing is feeling the heat of His love flame. <laughs> when He summons, that summoning is an expression of His desire. When you sense the summoning of the Lord, you are feeling His desire for you. Also, Jesus went up on a mountain. He calls us up. Away from the things below, there is simply no meeting below. We must leave the things below to enter into the things above. Set our minds on things above. Also, He appoints them to first be with Him. And this is important because as man or minister, double priority, we must give ourselves to Him. First priority. Then it says that He says it says that so that He could send them. Oh, this is this is beautiful because you can't send, or Jesus can't send one who hasn't been with him. In other words, only those who came to him are sent by him. The summoning must be a response, or the sending must be a response to the summoning. <laughs> he summons before he sends, and those that respond to the summoning are sent. Also in 335, the scripture shows us that whoever does the will of God, Jesus says, he is my family, or this, they are my mother and my brothers. Uh, how do you know if you're part of the family of God? Well, what does His will mean to you? Man, Daniel Papavisi sent me a quote the other day. It went something like this. When obeying God goes against our pleasure, we must then ask ourselves, do I love Him? I think it was Elizabeth Elliot that, that said it. So what does His will mean to us? We must build our lives around the will of God, that's what his family, those born of him, those he calls brother, that's how they live. If we do not build our hearts, our lives around his will, we are simply not uh, born of his spirit. We are simply not his own. So the fairest evidence of the work of the spirit is the renunciation of our own selves. But I wanna close with this. In the beginning of the chapter, Jesus goes into the, the synagogue on the day of rest, on the Sabbath, <laughs> and there's a man with a withered hand, and they're watching to see what he's going to do, and he uh, touches the man's hand. He stretches out the man's hand, and the man's hand is completely restored on the Sabbath day. They're livid, but there is something in this story that I believe is how... Uh, it's how I want to close the video. So maybe the works of your hands have been crippled by sin or corruption. I pray that you would come to the Lord and meet Him in the day of rest and He will touch you and restore you. Only His touch, the person of Christ, can restore the crippled hands. Uh, you say, Eric, what does crippled hands look like? Maybe you were, maybe you were really quickened by God in the past. 
to do something for him. Your obedience was on point. You were in the joy of gladly serving the Lord. But maybe sin came in. Maybe you grew cold. And your hand that used to be able to be so fruitful is withered, sick, unable to work for the Lord, actually participate in the joy of service. I want to encourage you, just come to Jesus in rest, because in that place of rest and coming to Him, He shall touch you and he, st- he shall restore you. So, blessings to you. Father, I thank you for every person watching. Bless them, Lord. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Let them sense the heat of your love flame. Summon them. Send them, precious God. Touch their hearts to be tender towards your presence and obedient to you. Lord, let them renounce their own will and enter into the bliss of your will. And Father, touch their withered hands and restore them. Amen.